Of course, this war is sending vibrations throughout the world right here in San Diego. It certainly is. Our Zara Barker joining us now with video of protesters in support of Israel and Palestine clashing. Sarah. Yeah, Misha, Jason, today supporters of Israel and Palestine have been gathering nationwide for protest and counter protest as well. There was one rally held in Balboa Park where San Diego police actually had to step in. Israel announces it is at war after a surprise attack from Hamas. That has been devastating to see the full scale and scope of what was a well-planned terrorist attack. Sarah Brown, the regional director of the American Jewish Committee in San Diego, says it's been heartbreaking to see the place she knows and loves under attack. They are a violent, internationally recognized terrorist group. They're not a government. This is not a legitimate ruling group or party. They're terrorists and they are harming their own civilians. I have such empathy for the Palestinian people who are suffering under Hamas. As the battle is ongoing in Israel, tensions are also rising at protests held nationwide, including here in San Diego. Pro-Palestine and pro-Israel protesters clashed at Balboa Park Sunday, with police having to step in to keep the peace. We talked with both sides of this protest. A lot of the narrative has been very wishy-washy. A lot of people are under the assumption that this has started, you know, as of Saturday, October 7th, but this has not been um, something that's an isolated incident. This has been going on for the past 75 years. There's, there's no excuse. This isn't a land dispute. This isn't about an occupation. This is about Jewish blood. Anyone in the world who cares about Israel is sickened to the core by what's happened. This is a a, a, an attack of catastrophic proportions. Alon Carr with the Israeli American Council, which has a San Diego chapter, says he's pleased President Joe Biden has condemned the attacks and is standing with Israel. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people. We all now have to stand together, first of all, first of all, in unwavering solidarity and, and commitment and support to the state of Israel and to the, to the profound suffering that this country is enduring. And so along with those protests held in Balboa Park today, the Israeli American Council is planning its own rally in support of Israel at the Jacobs Family Campus in La Jolla that is scheduled for Tuesday evening. Misha, Jason. All right, Zara, thank you for that.